Hello Transformers fans, this is JAR369. Welcome back for another pop review. Today I'll be taking a look at the Pop Retro Toys Transformers number 69 Emerald City Comic Con exclusive Grimlock made by Funko. Ah yes, another Transformers related pop. There's been a rumor saying that Grimlock might be in the Transformers line. I'm hopefully either going to be like the Retro Toys or the Michael Bay version. And then they decided to pick the the Retro Toys, which I'm still fine with that because look at that. It looks really cool. Even though I'm only familiar with the Michael Bay version. Well, not familiar with the G1, which I'm still probably going to watch it. I'm pretty sure he's still available on Tubby for free. So anyway, let's take a look at the box here. The box is the usual Funko Pop box with the Transformers design. And you get the Emerald City Comic Con exclusive sticker with the um the con sticker that I ordered from Funko Shop. On the side here, you got a full image of the pop here. On the back, you got other pops from the Transformers line like Optimus Prime, which I did review the metallic version. Bumblebee, Megatron, Jazz, and Soundwave. So that's about it for the box. Let's release Grimlock out of the box. Here we got Grimlock out of the box. Take a look at the pop here. Starting off the head sculpt here. Very well like the G1 toy and the cartoon, I'm guessing. Yeah, the head sculpt is really not too bad. Yeah, there's nothing much to say about it. Just plain black. You can see a little red visor there on here and now take a look at the body here you can see there's the autobot logo right there and you can see his famous well classic sword that he uses in the g1 cartoon on the back here you can see his little dino dino boat mode arms right there and you can see his little mouth there which makes me feel like i really wish that funko decided to give us the the dino mode instead of well the robot mode even though they I'm not sure if Funko can easily make a ver this version of Grimlock in his dinosaur mode. On here you can see the, his little tail sculpting on there. And his little stumps on there as well. You can see more printings on the um, area on the arms, the chest, and including the legs which represents stickers. Same thing with the belt area there. And on the bottom here there's some legal stuff on the bottom just like the other Funko Pops that I reviewed before. But anyway, overall for this Pop, it's still a not too bad looking Pop. And I'm really glad that I ha that I got this guy from the Funko Shop along with the other Emerald City Comic Con exclusive Pops. The Pop itself is not too bad. I highly recommend getting this Pop at... GameStop if he's still available because this guy is pretty shared with GameStop along with Morbius which I'm saving that for review for 31 Horror Toys in 31 Days along with other Marvel zombie pops but again still a great not bad looking pop I really do love this pop so much and I'm really happy that Funko made a Grimlock pop I really wish we got a, a Grimlock pop from the in his dino mode but the robot mode seems a bit fine. So that's about it. Make sure to tune in for new videos daily. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share this video, and comment on this video. Don't forget to turn on the bell icon to be notified new videos after you subscribe so you won't miss any new uploads. And be part of the notification squad. Finally, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both links will be in the description down below. That's all I can say. This is the Pop Retro Toys. Transformers number 69 Emerald City Comic Con exclusive Grimlock Pop made by Funko. And this is JAR369. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on my next review. And remember, keep on collecting.